I mean, it's, yeah, it's not not yes! real. I sent you an envelope of farts. <laughs> Dude, your cat has balls. <laughs> oh, geez. We're gonna watch another video. No! Oh, yeah, I'm so hot. I'm overachieving. Rock and bug. Oh, dissolve. Dissolve. What if I told you that I... <gasps> I want to actually show you something. Give me one sec. You see this? Yeah. Okay. Okay. Look at us. Are we framed? How's that? It's Dan and Nick. Danny, it's been eight months since the first day we met. What did we film a video about? Do you remember? How to be a fragrance influencer <laughs> with Jeremy <laughs> Fragrance. Yes. And we decided to become fragrance influencers, right? How was your fragrance-based uh, Instagram going. Horrible. No one followed it. I keep posting it on all my socials and stuff and no one's following. And so uh, I deleted it yesterday. Yeah, I sort of went a different route. I set up a fragrance-based Etsy store. Okay. And I tried to sell some smells. Like in jars or? I didn't really know how to do it. In the video, he didn't really cover that. And I sent one in a jar, one scent, and then one in a just a regular envelope. And it was sort of by request. So I didn't really have specific scents listed on my, um, who is this guy? Dude, your cat has balls. <laughs> so today, I wanna shift ourselves a little bit. See if we wanna become a different kind of influencer. This is our new mentor, let's check it out. Ice cubes in my water, not for me as a water sommelier. When I would put some ice cubes in it, I would water down water with water. You will change the taste profile of that liquid right here from nature when you're adding ice cubes to it. Am I supposed to be water. following what he's saying? <laughs> okay, I have no idea what he's talking about. He's still going, he's still going. It's getting pretty cold in my mouth. You numb up your taste abilities to actually taste something. So never put ice cubes in your water. Cheers. So what the fuck was this guy talking about? <laughs> this is Martin Riza. He's the United States first and only water sommelier. He became a water sommelier from a school in Germany. I think he might also be the first person to live in a house that is inside and outside <laughs> at the same time. Yeah, I don't know if he's like bartending at a pool. He's got like a security camera up here. <laughs> Before we even move further, I have gone into this thinking, you know, we were gonna have a laugh. Mm -hmm. A classic Dan and Nick laugh. Yeah, one of those classic ones. And instead, my life has been changed. I learned a lot while researching this video and I genuinely am ready to teach you too and go on this adventure together to both become not water influencers, but maybe even water sommeliers. Water connoisseurs? No, water what? sommeliers. What's the difference? A lot of people and what, <laughs> and what we're gonna be talking about today is that a lot of people don't understand the difference between your regular tap water in real water, spring water, water from nature. I'm gonna run you through a little game. I'm gonna show you a brand of water and you're gonna try to tell me if, if this is water from the tap, your municipal water source, or if this is real spring water, bottled up and put at your doorstep. Boom. Aquafina, your classic ah, Aquafina. Okay. Official water of the MLB. Mm, baseball water. I feel like people board. say Aquafina is just tap water. I'm gonna say tap. Wow, a good first win for you, Dan. Okay, so you think you can keep that up for seven more? Uh-huh. Let's try this, this one. Smart water. Oh, shit. Smart water sounds like it's been processed and they added, like, intelligence to it to make it, they added AI Artificial to the water intelligence. So it can actually Welcome. feel being yeah. drank. Um, I'm gonna say it's not real. Tap. I mean, it's, yeah, it's not not yes! real, but it's, t okay, yeah, okay. Next up. Aquapana. Looks a little bit fancier. Looks ancient. I blocked out. Don't look too close, Dan. Now, is it a factory in Florence or perhaps a spring tap? No. Oh, shit. <laughs> it's real. It's, well, it's not even from Florence. It's from a spring in Tuscany, Italy. Next up. Essentia. As in, Essentia, an envelope of farts. <laughs> Overachieving H2O. Okay, this sounds like. Oh, it water. says iodinized. You added a D in there somewhere. This is tap water. Tap! Okay, we're halfway through and you're three out of four. You're killing it. From the islands of Fiji, <laughs> what could this be? I'm gonna say spring. Wow. Let's go. Who would have thought it's from a spring in Fiji? Can you add music to this part? Well, I'll tell Joe to, but he sometimes he just doesn't, he doesn't follow through on his promises. So we'll see if he does. What?
So four out of five. Do you think you can nail a seven out of eight? That's our final. That would be our final score if you can get okay. the next two right. Tap. <laughs> Did I make it too easy? Next up. Tap. No, wait. No. <laughs> you see a plastic bottle and immediately you think tap, but our They friend, all came in plastic bottles. You know what I mean. One of these bottles. Yeah. But our arrowhead is actually from a spring in San Bernardino Mountains, California. So that's good. That's good. That means that it's good. Or it's real. Well, it at least is real. It's from a spring. This is our <laughs> final one. That looks like it would come from a spring. Dude, stop reading so close. This is from the French Alps. I'm gonna say that's real water. <laughs> <laughs> yes! I was, it was late last night. I wasn't reading that close. I mean, you did a good job. You got six out of eight. Six out of eight is a 75%. It's kind of fucked up. I only got two wrong and I got a C. Yeah, that's our uh, modern day education infrastructure. Well, we need to change that. And that's why today I wanted to ask you if you wanted to be my running mate in the 2024 <laughs> election. Wow, this is taking such a weird turn. I want to show you more about Martin and his journey to make us care more about water. I'm curious to find out like what exactly is so great about spring water that makes it so much better than tap, tap, tap. Well, funny you ask. <laughs> Let's check out this one. First off, this, the face that he made when he was supposed to be scared <laughs> looked like he was trying to scare yeah. someone. How do you look when you're scared? Oh, like this? <laughs> We're gonna watch another video. No! Oh, Jesus Christ. I don't want to watch <laughs> any more of these fucking videos. <laughs> Baby want tap water now. Just, this is what it looks like to be a water somebody. I was about, I was gonna ask what he does like as his job or Yep, that's that's basically it. I know he's not giving you much of the educational side of it so far. I'm gonna keep pushing through it. Is this showing off like what you can do when you drink spring water as opposed to tap water? Yeah. Because exactly. I drink tap water and there's no way I could do that no, shit. No, no way. I mean this thing is filled with anti push up. You like my new water bottle by the way? You see all that shit in there? There's microchips in there that the gar- oh. Does it make my eyes <laughs> Yeah, it's actually making it look <laughs> horrifying. It's editing Nick, here to tell you something super secret. I started a new channel called Nick is Not Gaming. Right now, we are doing a series with Ro Ramden where we are playing through Outer Wilds, and I'm about to start a series with Ethan is Online, my second channel editor, where we play Bloodborne. It's gonna be really fun. I'm trying to channel the excitement I had for Let's Play channels when I was a kid. And so I think you should subscribe because there's a lot of fun to have. The first episode is very long, has a lot of content in it. But after that, we're gonna be uploading, you know, 30, 45 minute episodes um, cut together of me just hanging out with some friends, playing some video games. It's a good time. Let's get back to the fun. Just, I was just, I'm sorry to stop you. I just wanted to explain, okay? But we're gonna get back to the fun now, okay? Bambi, say bye. You want to taste water like Bill Nye, Nicole Ritchie, Cat Graham, Conan O'Brien, Anna Kendrick, Zach Efron, Tom Segura, Christina P. He's talked to a lot of people. Or even The Simpsons. What? <laughs> and now it's yes. your turn to join me in the water tasting. Cheers. Oh, so he does like. So, yeah. Speaking events where you come and you taste water. And he's talked to a lot of people, you know, he's been very popular. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Who cares about the steak? It's the water what counts. Cheers. What he's saying is that it's okay for the steak to be processed. The cow doesn't have to fall through like rocks and stuff. Yeah, to and that water he had there, he carries that stuff everywhere. And it's a very high TDS, which is total dissolved solids. There's like a lot of stuff. I like think that means a lot of minerals. Like Fiji water is 222. Chunks of rock and bugs. Well, dissolved. And dissolved. shit and... Come well, I don't think what? so. I think floating it's floating around in there. <laughs> so, our next video. Quick question, vitamin water. When you think this is water with 
100 calories. Do you think Coke is a sparkling water? Hmm? What do you think? Nah, he really thought he did something there. I don't know. I don't think anyone thought vitamin water is real <laughs> water. He's got a point. They sell themselves as this very healthy drink when it's more calories than a Coke. Bro, um, this man is speaking facts. This is my favorite comment I read. Dude, the cod zombies voice. And I thought about it for a second. I was like, what could he mean by that? I did a little research. I have been recognized by Treya, the, the Illuminati. No ammo. I need to find more of my little friends! <laughs> he just has a German accent. Whoa, it's like the guy from Call of Duty! You know, that game with all the, you know, German people? Yeah. In Hello, everybody. I'm here in the local Target. Let's find the right spot for this one. You're welcome, Target. Distilled waters for small appliances, but not for human consumption. Cheers. So, let me get this straight, okay? Because, I mean, I understand what he's saying. I do think that you're not supposed to drink distilled water, right? Yeah. You can't have too much stuff in the water, because then it's vitamin water. Well, no. But yeah, but no, because too much stuff, it depends what the stuff is. If it's, it's totally dissolved, rocks, solid, and yes. bugs. No bugs, there's no and bugs. shit. <laughs> it's just minerals. Oh yeah, I'm so hot, I'm overachieving, and I'm locally sourced in America. <laughs> Mm-hmm, me too, girl. So is he saying that tap water is actually better than like this type of bottled yeah. water and it's less expensive too? His tap water has more minerals, has more shit in it. And bugs. There's no bugs. And today, I wanna create smart water. First, we need to find the right source for the water. Is he just gonna pour tap water and then boil it? No, he, gi on. he gives it away in the well, title. And smart water is nothing else than municipal sourced water. Aka, tap water. Okay, let's put this little lid on here. So let me run you through it. He, he boils the water through the lid, then he takes the water from the lid that doesn't have all the crap in it and pours it into his cup. And then, this is where things I've get I've never crazy. seen anyone pour water from the lid of a pot before. That's I crazy. Mean. So after the stilling, what actually happened to all the natural occurring minerals and electrolytes in water? Bring back some minerals. But not too many. Voila, homemade smart water. And the conclusion of this little exercise, do I really want to pay money for a highly processed tap water? Nope. So what have we learned? We learned that distilled water, not Bad. Great. That's the lowest of the low, probably, because you, yeah, not for human no, consumption, there's, really. There's nothing in there. Yeah. We also learned that our smart water, that bullshit, yeah. is just distilled water with electrolytes added. So the final thing I want to show you before, you know, we have some fun is Martin and his number of TV show appearances mm. and kind of show you what the general consensus of his beliefs are. You have a degree for this, is that correct? Correct. In 2010, I received my certification as a mineral water sommelier from the German Water Association. When did you first notice that you were fascinated by water? I, I mean, that same year, I also created the German Water Association. <laughs> <laughs> How many people work there? It's just me. My parents noticed at first because I'm coming from the Danish border, so up north from Germany. And when I went on vacation with my parents, the first thing what I always did in different cities, I was drinking tap water. And my parents was like, whoa, what's going on with our son? Why is he so thirsty? For me, it was more like, <laughs> it, it's a taste, mom. It's the taste that you don't get it. And they're like, I love the way he just said mom. I, I watched that mom. clip last night. I watched that clip like three or four times just because of the way he said mom and oh look. <laughs> you can see like the child like wonder in his eyes. And what, what, what can I do to taste this water? Ta take me through you it. Drink it. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so he's got many different waters there. Does he have a, does he have one that's not good there? Do you think? Uh-uh. Pause. Ah. <laughs> <laughs> Woo. Uh, here we go. <laughs> It's water. Great. I it's love water. It. I love it. It's water. Now I'm gonna take eat some crackers in between. Don't right? do it. The Don't do it. Don't. Oh my god. What? What's the matter? <laughs> when you do a wine taste, you're supposed to have crackers in between. Yeah, um, maybe. <laughs> um, you wanna actually see the difference in water, so you don't. You should not abstract your palate with different like tastes. So. Yeah, he's gonna be like, this next water tastes like crackers. <laughs> yeah. Oh. Next person we wanna show a meeting. <laughs> It's two chains and Diplo. It's weird that you said, I was just wondering what two chains would think about this. Hey, 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 how you doing, man? Very well. All right, I'm two chains. Martin. Nice to meet you. So Hi, Diplo. it's Martin. Martin. Diplo. How are you doing here? What? Cheers. Cheers. 
definitely water. And so you see the general consensus that people are just like, yeah, this shit's water. <laughs> but they don't give him the time of day. He always starts with a very basic normal water. Mm -hmm. And I think I really respect that. Because he's got to show them what they're used to and then... And then hit him with the truck. Yeah. It's the most expensive bottled water from America. So let's see. Why do you gotta have this? Whoa. Damn, that's dope. This would explain. He's like mad about it. He's like, why do I have to have all yeah. this stuff? Here? Wasting my fucking time with yeah. this stupid ass yeah. briefcase. $100,000. Because you cannot buy this, kind <laughs> of like, or actually, it's just what? been made nine times in this world. And this whole experience is the Ultra Diamond Luxury Collection of Beverly Hills 90H2O. It comes from Beverly Hills 90H2O. <laughs> Two Chains is calling a, a timeout. Oh, yes. Wow. What are you paying 100000 for, brother? <laughs> Do you see this? That's 14 karat real diamonds. It's actually tap water, and there's diamonds on that yeah. cap. But he gave the same thing to Conan, but without the diamonds on the top. And they made, I think, 10,000 of these, and each one has its unique number on it. Mm. But for today's video, I actually bought one of the nine $100,000 things. No, I wish. I, uh, I, I don't have that money. I have something I want to get to, so we're going to skip to the last video. He was on Netflix's Down to Earth with Zac Efron. And I feel like they were the first people to really respect the craft. Okay, good. This water has a TDS of <laughs> 1,300. It annoys me that this is so good. Water has a flavor for sure. Next water, the very, very famous brand in the UK. So Hilton, we're introducing our little bubbles. Wow, that's got some, I don't know. The bubbles are awesome. Zach's getting pretty emotional. He, he looks like he's welling up. Yeah. I think I saw Martin start to unscrew a tiny vial for his tears that he's gonna collect. <laughs> I think that might be the, the top. Efron. Water on the hierarchy. Yeah. I have a very interesting water for you. And this is a water nobody else can access this in America. You're That's the, my favorite. Thing. So you're the only people today on the whole continent of America who's actually have access to this water. You heard what he said at the end about Roy Water, how no one can access it in the mm -hmm. country. What if I told you, not only do I have Roy Water today, what if I told you that I, oh shit, have every water from the Zac Efron episode, even his tears, <laughs> and Danny, finally, what if I told you that right now, we're about to jump on a Zoom call with Martin to taste <laughs> these waters. We get to taste test we with taste Martin test himself? With Martin literally right now. Holy shit. I'm getting kind of nervous. He told me, don't chill the water. You always want it to be room temp. Oh. And he said, get wine glasses if you can. And I meant to ask you and I forgot. But I have the second best thing. I have two glasses from the collector series of these McDonald's cups. Captain Crook or Mayor McCheese? Which one would you like? Captain Crook. Okay. Stop right there, foul beast. Has this ever happened to you? Oh, my cheap, stupid phone case for a big corporate company named after a rainforest freaking broke my phone because I paid for it using a used Kleenex and three rusty quarters. Has it happened to you? Yeah. I bet it has, you cheapskate. Why are you paying hundreds and hundreds of dollars for a phone and not actually putting in the effort to protect it properly? And that's why I'm here to talk about today's sponsor, Casetify. Casetify has probably been the biggest sponsor on this channel because I like the product so much. Their phone cases are made of recycled material and they are compatible with wireless charging and 5G. And that doesn't mean it's cheap by any means. Casetify's Qi Tech 2.0 technology is drop test approved for drop tests up to 9.8 feet. See? Good as new. They also come in tons of designs. My favorite case was actually designed by my favorite artist, Day Off, one of many artists that Casetify collaborates with to make the coolest cases out there. Casetify's cases are also 100% non-toxic and non-hazardous. They feature an antimicrobial coating that keeps your case germ-free, killing 99% of bacteria. If those aren't enough reasons for you to get yourself a Casetify case, I literally don't know how to help you. If you want to be as cool as me, go to casetify.com slash nickisnotgreen to get 15% off of your order. Thank you again to Casetify for sponsoring this video. Let's get back to the water. Let me make it so we have... Okay, yeah. there we go. So, Martin, we learned a lot about you. We watched a lot of clips. I mean, we kind of we kind of know the whole thing now, and we're ready to be won over. The only hey, thing I, we yeah. have to do is the actual water taste test itself. Now, through a lot of the clips we noticed, you know, we watched your 
interview with Conan. We watched your appearance on Two Chains show. A lot of people don't give you the time of day to see that water has a real taste. And after watching all your videos, I was like, I'm ready. I'm ready to be converted. How often do you do a tasting? And what do you think the breakdown is from people who are believers and people who are too stubborn to really be accepting of it? We should circle back a little bit because let's face it, when you're going to the restaurant or like to the grocery store these days, you see so many different uh, bottles of waters on the shelves. But for me as a water sommelier, I still think that the that the offerings what you can get in the grocery store is a pity. It's terrible. Of course, 60% of all these offerings are nothing else than highly processed tap waters. I never really realized the distinction before. And I'm the type of person who like, I see smart water and I'm like, that looks like high quality water. <laughs> What's wrong with smart water? What is like, what's bad about it? I'm just not into it that the company can sell you boiled up tap water in a plastic bottle. It's nothing else. Vapor distilled is just a fancy word for boiling up tap water. And then obviously to celebrities endorsements where they're smiling at the bottle like, oh, you should drink that. And they have no clue what they're actually talking about because obviously they're not water sommeliers. They, they don't know better. They're just getting their million dollar paycheck. And you as a consumer think, oh my God, these people are drinking this. It has to be great. I think think when I see a person with a smart water bottle, I'm just laughing. Go they're like, oh, yeah. no, it's just hilarious to me that people yeah. are thinking this is a good thing to do. So yeah. I think my water should come from a natural occurring source where now that nature is still intact. And then what I think what a lot of people don't know, water should not be pure. And I know every water companies will tell you, I am a pure water. That is our water is so pure, that pure, that pure. When water is pure, don't drink it because mm -hmm. there are no more minerals dissolved. That means it's just H2O. So again, yeah. nature yeah. does not know the concept of pure water. What kind of things is in the water that makes it good when it when mother nature is doing it and putting things in the water? Like what are you looking for? So at one point, everyone Water is ocean water, but it will vaporize by the sun. Clouds will form it. The clouds are sending over to the main islands and it comes down as rain. So at that point, water is almost a TDS of zero. Then this water goes down, falls on the different layers around the world and sucks through different stone layers. And water is the universal solvent. So it takes minerals, it will flush it out minerals, mm -hmm. what's been in the stone layers, like magnesium, calcium, silica, potassium, all these amazing minerals, what your body actually needs. You cannot survive on this planet without minerals and we cannot create them by ourselves. So by drinking a water with no minerals, it would make sense. Their marketing ideas to sell you pure water, because it sounds great in marketing, Distilled water is for small appliances, but it's actually the worst you could drink. In Germany, there are big warning labels on these bottles, and it says, do not drink, not for human consumption. In America, nobody cares. So a question we had from the beginning of watching some of your videos is, we look at the municipal tap water and we look at the spring water, but where does that fall in like the hierarchy of what is good water. Let's say like this, I'm not against tap water at all. I think tap water could be great and super delicious as well. It depends where it's coming from. So mm -hmm. I would never say don't drink tap. The only thing what I don't like when again, corporations selling you tap water in a plastic bottle. That's just crazy. And then charging a high price for it and calling it premium water because right. the only thing what is premium is the price tag. That's all what it is. Therefore, it's totally fine to drink tap. Obviously, we all know in America as well, for example, Flint, Michigan, what happened there when there's a spillage into tap, that might be not the thing you should drink because they gave me in a documentary the Flint tap water to smell on it. I Obviously, I would not have drank it. It smelled like you had like two lemons squeezed out into your nose. That oh smell gosh. of that tap water, super acidic. I was like, oh my God. And I said like, this is crazy. It was safe to drink by the government in the first two Oh my days. gosh. Spelled out the that there were clearly a chemical spill. And they yeah. said, it's fine, don't worry about it. No, no, obviously we had to worry about it. But in general, you can obviously drink your tap water. If, if you have tap water and it either comes from like your municipal city and they clean it and stuff, or if it comes from a well and you've tested it, do you have a preference between those two? No, everybody has a taste preference. For example, by wine. When I like a Pinot Noir and you like a Merlot, that doesn't mean that you're right and I'm wrong. And if they want to drink Merlot, we're drinking Merlot. No, if 
anybody orders Merlot, I'm leaving. I am not drinking any fucking Merlot! Beer water, Sommelier. It's not just about the taste and to be have like interesting waters on a menu or something. The bigger vision for me is more like that we start to rethink of water and our use of water. The problem is millions don't have access of clean and safe drinking water. Okay, I have two more questions. My first question is, I remember you telling someone, they asked what your favorite tap water was and you said something somewhere in Germany, but is there a specific place in the States that you've tried their tap water and like were very surprised by how good it was. So for me, the more rain falls in a country or in an area, the better is the tap water quality because they have more access to tap water. Uh -huh. In Los Angeles, obviously, we are, we are in a constant drought over here. Our tap water qualities, in my opinion, as a water sommelier are terrible. I just don't like the taste of it because it's highly chlorinated. I get it by the government that they're adding a lot of chlorine to it to just make sure it's super safe. But the yeah. chlorine is just disgusting for me as a water sommelier. It destroys everything in my palate. And the same with fluoride. I'm not a big fan of fluoride. I think it's mass medication. Even the German government thinks like this. And since the 70s, it's forbidden by law to add fluoride into the tap water. Therefore, I'm using a filtration system when it comes to tap water or I'm choosing bottled water. My final question, if there are any gimmicks in the water world when it comes to where certain springs are, what if we found a haunted spring and made like a ghost water brand out of it where it was like haunted water is there anything you've ever heard of where like the spring is particularly like special or, or like, like blessed maybe yeah or something like, like blessed that? by the pope or yeah. something I, yeah. I love the idea what you just said i think it's a great idea ghost you can water. steal it from us if you want especially on halloween i think it's gonna be a great a great water for for things obviously liquid death i think it might be a slightly the same concept mm. what i feel there but the interesting part is and i wanted to actually show you something give me one sec you see this yeah. Okay. It's a clay bottle. This is a 150 year old water bottle from Germany. This is Whoa. what water bottles used to look like. And this has something to do with your question, what you had. Because you asked me if there are some special spring sources. Yes, they are. Since hundreds of years in Europe, people know the healing benefits of water. And it's not just like that a holistic doctor is saying this to you. No, no, no. Actually, real doctors will tell you, oh, you should go to the spring source to treat yourself on the healing powers of these waters. In the 1700s, that's already started to have spa and bath towns. Medication was not invented. So when the people were too sick to go to the spa and bath towns, the water companies or the water spa people started to send you these to your home. There was mm. water in there. There was nothing else it was water with minerals dissolved and this started as medication so the first bottles of water was actually medication and not hydration we still have in europe especially in germany over over 100 water brands who are falling under the medication law it's nothing else than bottled water it's nothing been altered to these waters but they're falling under the medication law because they have a scientific proof that they're doing something in your body. So yes, there are so many very unique waters out there and unique sources out there who actually you can treat yourself on these sources to get better. Well, I say with that, let's let's jump into yeah, it. Yeah, I want to taste, taste it. Go with the Hilden still first. So let's open that. Do you know the TDS for all of these or does yeah, it say sure. it or anything? Yeah, sure. Yeah, 312 is the TDS of Hilden. You just know that off the top of your head? Oh, I know that, yeah. Look at the label again, front. And do you see the little crest there? And say what it's saying. It says, by appointment to Her Majesty the Queen, supplier of natural mineral water, Hilden Limited, Hampshire. So this is the water what Queen Elizabeth is drinking on a daily basis. That's the queen's Whoa. water. Whoa, <laughs> this is royal this water. Is queen water? That's the royal water. But it's a glass bottle. I think glass is the best container for water. So let's do Hilden. the first water. Get Just drink it. So what do you think about the taste of film? And I will give you some, some ideas. Do you think it's more like on the smoother, easier side? Or do you think it's super complex and salty? Very smooth, I think. I think so too. Pretty, pretty yeah. basic water. Yeah. It goes down easy. Yeah. And obviously, it's the first water we're going to taste. It's always tough to taste the first water. But on the second one, when we go into three base now, you will already see the difference. This one, three base, still. Three base, still. So now I can join you as well in the oh, taste. Oh, yeah. Oh, sweet. Premium Australian mineral water. So this water has a TDS of 1,300. So 312 was Hilden, 1,300 is three base. They found this water by accident. 
because they realized in Austria, in Australia, that kangaroos were always hanging out in an area down the street. And they found that there was a natural water source and the kangaroos were always drinking this. So we were just drinking uh, the queen's water and now we're drinking kangaroo <laughs> water. <laughs> kind of, yeah. All hey, right. drink it. Cheers, Cheers. friends. Oh, whoa. It tastes different. Really? It's like, it's like... It's crazy, huh? I want to say yeah. like harder or something. Yeah, yeah. More. it's for yeah. me, think about milk, it's thicker. The texture is totally different. The Hilton is super clean, almost mm. like fat milk versus the three base is like whole milk, like super fatty and oily on the palate. Yeah, I definitely see that actually. It's both H2O, but they're different minerals dissolved. Measured by TDS, total dissolved. It's almost like it's not like a flavor difference yet. It's just like a like a feeling mm. difference. Clearly the texture is heavier. I think three base has a, a, almost like a sweetie with a touch of salty, like 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 salty caramel aftertaste. Oh, so let's go okay. back to the Hilton sparkling now. So the white bottle. We're getting bubbles. Okay, got it. Again, Very TDS small. 312. Just drink the bubbles. What do you think about it? Oh, it's like, yeah, it has flavor to it. Oh, I yeah. love Hilton uh, medium sparkling. It has like tiny bubbles. It's not aggressive on your palate at all. There are actually two different paths of shoes when it comes to sparkling water. Mm. Some waters are natural carbonated water. They're coming from nature actually with that carbonation, so they don't do anything to it. So Hilton, for example, is a still water. They're artificially adding the carbonation on. So let's wow. go. So the big boys, huh? Vichy. Oh. oh man, I'm excited to try it. <laughs> this is the one. So, so TDS Vichy. of Vichy 3052. So this is two and a half more than three base in the minerality. So 3052. So this is That's 10 times high. more than the first one we tried. Correct. Think about oh. this. Oh, is it sparkling? That's sparkling. Natural occurring sparkling. <gasps> that comes like that out of a gazier. 140 it, degrees Fahrenheit. So is that, is that usually a pretty rare thing? Is this probably the first naturally occurring sparkling water we've had? For you, yes. I would guess yes. Wow. This is a different Dude, that's experience. Sick. So this comes from a little bit northern of Barcelona. Okay. That's interesting. So it has a slightly salty taste to it, especially in the aftertaste. Yeah. I've been on the on Playboy Radio. One of the girls, when we tasted Vichy Catalan, and that's a little bit more, not, not really like, you know, children, so I won't say it, but she thought it tasted like beep. That was her taste profile of that water. Um, I don't know if that's like a good review or not. Should we end with the Roy? Oh, and absolutely. The... And that just exists as sparkling. That comes natural occurring sparkling as well. How did I get my hands on this? Because when you did the Zac Efron show, this was a pretty, rare instance, right? They didn't have any distribution in America wow. before the Zac Efron show came out. And due to the fact of Zac Efron, suddenly they found a distribution partner that they can actually now import it to America. Since 1647 on the bottle? <laughs> yeah. Been around Obviously they're, they're bottling this, uh, they used to be bottling like something in a clay bottle. Freaking wow. But this yeah, water you know, comes this water. from a spa town. Okay. Oh my gosh, that has so many bubbles. Yeah, dude, this is like huh? frothing. It's like a soda pop when you're pouring it. And this is naturally occurring also? Natural occurring. Wow. Natural occurring sparkling water. Oh god, I'm nervous. Yes. What, is the, what is the TDS on this? 7,400. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Double of Vichy. We're about to get some medication. That definitely tastes like it has minerals in oh it. Oh my like, god. Huh? Oh my gosh. The, once you actually swallow it, you get the full taste. I was like letting it sit. Oh, it's like Man. salty too, whoa. It's salty, it's super metallic. Complex. It's almost like for me, like to chewing on a penny. That is the taste mm. of Roy for me. But again, I think it's fascinating because that is mother nature in a glass. Nothing has been altered to this water. This is yeah. what mother nature creates for you. Wow, that is wild. It's fascinating. Man. I'm going through a sick spell right now. I feel like if I drink a full glass of this, I'd just be cured or I'd die, <laughs> one of the two. I feel like I'm like drinking a hardware store right now. Like I went to the <laughs> Home Depot and like blended it up. And, and this is what they it. offered you. Is there like for you an ideal TDS range? Everybody has a different palette. I like waters between 70 to 400 TDS. These are my most common drinkable okay. waters on a daily basis. It has Minerals dissolved, but not too much because we all know when it's too much minerals, it's too intense on mm. our palate. Do you think that if someone drank like this entire bottle, would that make them sick? No, 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 no. They okay. wouldn't be allowed to, to, to sell it to you when this would be like the case. <laughs> 
I'm just but, saying, like, I feel like you, full after just drinking that tiny I, little bottle. No, I get it. My stomach feels full. If you just handed me this bottle and, and told me to take a sip, I I probably, I might even be like, this isn't water. water. This is probably something yeah. else. Yeah. I feel like the first one we tasted, I was like, mm, maybe it's different. Yeah, after but, the first two, I was like, you know, I wouldn't, I probably wouldn't notice if you handed it to me and didn't have me like analyze it and think mm -hmm. about it. I think there's something to say about allowing yourself because you could drink different kind of, you could say the same thing about wine. You could be drinking all these different kind of wines and I'm not a big wine fan. I'm not, I, I don't really notice different kinds of, you could hand me a bunch of very similar red wines and I wouldn't be able to tell the difference of them until sure. you asked me to think about it. But when I think about the water, then I'm like, okay, now that I'm actually feeling this on my tongue and tasting the aftertaste and all that, there's a lot going on in there. When you start to think about a water tasting and you're doing this, more and more often you start to train your palate. And that is exactly what water sommelier is doing or what regular sommelier is doing. Nobody has the golden palate here on this planet, huh? So yeah. you train to get better and better and better and better and better. And that's a fun, cool, actually cool exercise with some friends sometimes. It doesn't need to be alcohol all the time. It can be sometimes actually <laughs> different water bottles from around the store, taste them side by side and be, ex be exposed to the different taste profiles. There's one thing I wanted to show you, and I don't. I think you can see it on your Roy water glass now as well. Do you see my glass? There are these like minerals now, or like these white little dots everywhere. These are now mm. the dissolved minerals. Oh, coming wow. to exposure on your glass. They're drying up. I thought I was. I thought my glasses were just dirty. No, no. These are now <laughs> the minerals you can actually see. Water comes oh. from nature. It has to be processed in some way. How do they make sure that it's safe, and what do they do to it, if anything? before they bottle it. Every bottled water company has to prove, first of all, what's actually in the water, how many mills are dissolved, and what might be else is in the water, what you don't want to have. So mm -hmm. therefore, purified water companies make it very simple and easy on them because they're just using tap water from a factory. So they're filtering the good and the bad stuff out. Then they have a TDS of mostly super low zero or one or two and then they're adding back some electrolytes and minerals for the taste and they have to say for taste because they will get sued right away when they would say oh it's for this and this benefit that is the biggest scam huh? that they have kind of like made it possible that people thinking it's amazing but it's actually barely anything in there so real water is from nature fake water is processed tap plastic bottle we don't need to process everything and i think that's again like an american thing that we're always thinking everything needs to be pure and cleaned and processed no 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 no. it's like let's go back a little bit to nature millions of millions of years we're already on this planet as humans and we survive pretty well without purified water it's a good point yeah and i feel i feel great after that roy well martin i want to thank you for jumping on the call with us changing sure. our our lives for the better i feel like i'm excited to be introduced to the world of water i think this is going to be a new interest for me and i'll be smart about my water yeah. and i won't drink smart water thank you so much for being with you guys today i love what you guys are doing i think this is great and let's bring awareness a little bit that mother nature creates amazing stuff already for us yeah. we don't need to drink highly processed beverages we can drink already cool stuff what mother nature creates and again the bigger picture is just start to rethink your use of water as well so let's be yeah. a little more minds mindful about our use of water. That's very important to me as a sommelier. Is there anywhere that the people watching this video can find you that you'd like to shout out? My name obviously is Martin Riese. I have an Instagram account, Martin Riese, Facebook, Martin Riese, and on TikTok, it's Martin Riese Official. Thank you so much for calling. Hopefully one day, maybe we'll get to do a water tasting in person one day. Oh, it'll be fun. But until then, uh, yes, thank you. Yes, my friend. Hope you have a great day. Yes, Cheers. You Here we are. Here we are. I feel like I'm having like a placebo effect right now where my body, I feel like uh, like my insides just feel like clean or something. Dude. I don't even know if that's what I'm supposed to be feeling right now, but. I, I feel like I just drank a bunch of a bunch of soda pop in my stomach. I'm oh, are you a little bubbly? Out. Yeah. I'm a little bubbly. I think I might like the ones that say that it's the queen's water just cause that's, that was that's awesome. fucking sick. I like the kangaroo water also. But the naturally sparkling ones is really cool yeah. to me also. That's an experience I feel like not a lot of people are going to be able to have, and I yeah. sort of gave that to you today. That's sick, and I appreciate that, and thank you for that, and that's awesome. Look at our, look, look at the minerals of the glass. Yeah, that actually is pretty crazy. It, started it looks like more when more. you take your glass out of, like, the dishwasher yeah. and it didn't, like, f fix it. Wow.